Hey, this is Robert, Big Guy DIY. Uh, the next project I got working on, I picked this up today, and I'm pretty stoked about it, especially my kids. Let me show you what I'm going to be doing. This is a 1997 Mad River Canoe Explorer, 16 feet. Someone wanted to get rid of this boat, and uh, I received a call from a call, and so I got it. So the condition of the boat is the, the hull is in excellent condition. So, I mean, it's it's a plastic like fiberglass. The only thing that needs to be replaced are these uh, gunnels. That's it. Shoulder bars in great shape. The seats, as you can see, are in great shape. But I know the um, wicker is old because I put my thumb through it right here pushing down on it so it just snapped so what I'm gonna do is show you guys how I'm gonna replace this as well as the tip here the point we're gonna change that rope line so it has a handle on each end and I've already picked up the timbers to replace the gun whales which are right here these are red oak strips uh, at 12 feet, the canoe 16, I know, so I'm going to use a special joint to uh, do the additional footage I need to make it work. So, that's it. Okay, I'm going to set the canoe up on these sawhorses, but the thing is, is when you put a canoe on sawhorses, it's going to tip either way. So, I'm going to take these pieces of scrap wood I have. And I'm going to actually make a cradle, like in the shape of a V, and it'll just be clamped onto the horse, and that will hold the canoe stable. So, I'm just going to record myself making these cradles to hold the canoe.
There we go. There you go. Time to put the canoe on. Okay, we got the canoe on the sawhorses now. So what I'm making is these gunwales or gunnels. The outside ones, as you could see when I look down, have rotted. The inside part is still very good. So I, uh, I won't have to replace these at all. Change my view here. I don't have to change these at all. These uh, pieces are good. The seats are good. The wicker is soft, so I know I'm going to have to redo that. But overall, the, the wood is in excellent condition for both this old. So this is a Mad River canoe. The model is Explorer, so it's a 16-footer. Uh, it is a fiberglass boat. And... The wood I'm replacing with is red oak, which is uh, one by two, and I'm going to rip it down the center so it matches the width of these. And then I will have to pre-drill this red oak before I drive all the screws in. i got to undo all these screws because they're all sticking out down the boat. But I'm going to have to pre-drill each single hole and then put in the screw so the wood does not split. Red oak is a very, very hard wood and when it's dry, it makes it more difficult to screw into because it will has a greater chance of splitting versus if it was a green board. Green meaning it was freshly cut from a tree. So, we're going to start on this now and rip it. All right. Nice pile of sawdust. All the pieces are ripped. So now, get these to lie flat. Now I'm going to remove this old piece all the way down and back out all the screws. Well, it's rotted up here. So, this piece here is the same size as this piece. So, since I ripped the thing in half, I can just replace it. Looking at the current one here, I'm going to have to put cuts into it. I think that will allow it to bend. I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do for that. But that's no big deal. Alright, continue on removing all those screws. If you can see them. You can't see them, can you? Here, 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 here. There's a lot.
and there we go so it was rotted more than I expected the pieces the gunwale on the inside were definitely cracked so but these pieces here I'm going to remake these nose pieces there's a place another town over I'm going to have this wicker redone because it's too weak these are my seat posts or they hang the seats attached to this I'm going to remake these too why not keep it consistent it's all new wood the brace here I forgot what they call this I want to say a yoke uh, I'm probably wrong on that but this is still in pretty good shape so I'm just going to sand this down get rid of the old polyurethane on here there's no rot on either end of this at all it's not split or cracked so I'm just going to polyurethane that and uh, or sand it down polyurethane it so that's it so next time I'll come back and we'll be installing the sides all right I've cut my pieces if I needed when you go shopping for like I bought the wood at Lowe's this red oak and I could only get 12 foot lengths the boat 16 so it means there's gonna be some pieces that where I have to overlap so I'm gonna put the longer pieces in the main part of the boat and then the end up here in the end down here I'm gonna use shorter pieces and these shorter pieces are 26 inches long as you can see and what I did is I made them where when I'm gonna have the, the end uh, let me use my hand here when I do the end this piece is gonna have an angle across it and it's gonna overlap the other pieces so when the screws go through it's gonna be pulling both pieces so what I did is I made the length of the short pieces so a screw hole will grab both pieces so I have a mark here you probably can't see it I got a mark here it shows me where my long piece is gonna start going towards the center of the boat and I got the same mark down here as well see I got screw holes so that means this short piece that comes up short piece that comes up will overlap where this one screw goes in so the pieces that I took off have these cuts in them and it just helps the wood bend to the inside shape of the boat I'm gonna do that here with my uh, miter saw. So what I did is I set my depth gauge on my miter saw, and I'm gonna notch out. I've already made marks here, all the way down, and I'm gonna notch out these pieces. <clears throat> Reason I have this is because since this is a sliding miter saw, if I just put it down and hit it here, it's not gonna hit it evenly all the way across. So I'm not worried about this piece of wood. I just want to get it even going across. So I got two pieces here that are clamped together. As you can see, the clamp's going all the way down. That way they're cut even on uh, both inside pieces. So I'll show you what that looks like after I finish cutting it.
There we go. So these pieces, the canoe will go against this side. Will go against this side as it bends. All right. So that's the trick to uh, make a nose. I'm just going to clean them up with a not a file, a chisel, so they're a little cleaner. Okay, day three, I'm replacing these gunwales, gunnels. These are my lap joints. So I got half the wood going underneath, the other half coming over the top here. So they overlap with each other. And there's a screw here, screw here, and screw here to be sure this whole thing, this whole thing stays together. Sorry, let me try that again. Screw here, a screw here, a screw there. All my holes are countersunk. There's a bit that's used by, uh, I know DeWalt has it. And this is the countersink right here, as you can see. So I can go straight in with this up to almost a quarter inch and then what I do is I take this piece out then I use a um, not a one eighth but the next bit down from one eighth and I drill that hole straight through into this piece and what I had to do is I probably got two dozen clamps to hold this thing together with a mallet because each screw that you have to hit or drive in you need to get this to be flat on the top uh, what do I think a red oak it's a good hardwood it's I wouldn't say rot resistant but it's not gonna rot as quickly as ash ash is what's used on these canoes originally which is a it is a hardwood but it is softer and ash is definitely way more pliable than oak red oak especially uh, red oak splits on you very easily even though I pre-drilled the holes here's a split right here so I gotta fill this in with glue and do that and I had another split uh, right there on that side on that overlap so the slips aren't the splits are not huge, but enough to uh, make you go, you know, <laughs> it's all the work that you do to try to put this in. Next is I'm going to sand this whole thing down with an oscillator sander. Get rid of get rid of these rough edges, as you can see, where the screws were countersunk. You have the hair sticking out. I want to get rid of that bring this edge down a little and then I did not round this bottom edge out I know on the original canoe or the original gunwale sidings it's rounded all the way around but running this wood through a router table which I have a portable router table it's a small one but it works <clears throat> using a round bit with a wheel on top that way the wood doesn't go too far in when you're when you're doing it but putting 12 foot sections through the router table is not easy it's, it's actually pretty difficult you never you're not gonna have a consistent
piece like this, you'll get some parts like here, it's flat. And then other parts, it'll be bumpy. But, hey, it is what it is, right? So, that's the update right now on the assembly of these gunnels. <clears throat> okay. I glued the joints here and then I put sand, uh, sand sawdust, sand dust, sawdust over these, pressing it into the glue. So as I sand this down, hopefully it'll come out a little smooth with a little wood on it. So uh, let's work on the sanding, see how that comes out. Sandpaper I'm using, I got 220, but if it doesn't take down as much as I want, I'm going to switch it to 80, which is pretty aggressive, but that's all I got in my inventory right now. smooth I end up going to the 80 grit because uh, I really want to get more taken off where these holes been countersink so they're smooth to the touch the joints that I did you can see they're still drying still wet the glue so I'm gonna have to wait before I can sand this down so it looks a hell of a lot better but other than that yeah, the gun whale, gunnels, gun whales. I'm um, for the most part, I'm pretty happy with. I'm gonna work on these tips here. I think I'll use a saw to kind of cut this edge off, and then on the other side, I have to trim this back. I knew it was too long. And that's no big deal. This whole thing is covered by a piece of wood goes down to about think about here I might even carve a handle into it I don't know I haven't decided yet that or just leave the existing handle that is installed right here to begin with on the canoe but that's it I think next time I'll tune in is when I have everything's fully sanded and these joints sanded okay the glue and the joints of um dried so now you can see how I overlapped the two pieces here so I got a screw obviously through here and I got a screw on the back side here holding this and then the inside here's the other joint we got right here so again I got one screw here one going through here and one going through here to hold this whole thing together tight line about but that's it they're done now I'm just gonna treat it with polyurethane and that's how you install gunnels 
on a canoe. So hopefully uh, that information helped anyone out. If you got any questions, uh, post them below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. And give me a thumbs up if this helped. All right. This is Big Guy DIY Robert signing off. See ya.